where's this guy? Um, alright, he looks kinda dead. We'll just, we'll just leave him for now. Let's kill this dude. Okay. Oh, there's another one right up there. What was your name again? Target practice? Um, there we go. Is he further this way down this river? It doesn't look like it. I don't see any quest markers down here. Mm, Alright, let's see what we can do here. marker I'm looking for. I'm sure it is. I probably should have just gone here right away. Yeah. One fine day oh. in the middle of the night two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. Alright. Um... This is the crazy guy singing a song with a this? pot Out on his head. Strolling? Lovely day for it. You must be Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Um, we're trying to get inside the prophet's enclosure. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Awesome. All right, perfect. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. All right, where's the entrance to this place? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. All right, thank you, crazy zombie dude. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Um, I'd love to hear more about this guy, but I think it's more important that uh, we continue going. Can I take, like, hold F to interact? Oh, no, that's just a random dude. Sorry. Um, anyway, I was trying to interact with, like, items and pick up, like, food and stuff. I don't know if you can actually just do that in this game. Uh, but anyway, we gotta go this way, down the river, it looks like. So that means killing some more flame atronox. Quickly here. Alright. Now I also leveled up earlier. I don't know if it's like Skyrim where I have to, uh, like, assign perks somewhere when I level up. Um. But, hopefully not, because I didn't do that. Blast this guy real quickly. There we go. And I probably shouldn't stand in the flames that explode uh, when they die, but I'm in a hurry, so sometimes it happens. There we go. Let him explode, then we'll go loot him. I only found one staff on these guys. So far, I haven't found any other cool loot, just a little bit of gold every now and then. So here we go. Through into the Undercroft, which I believe is where we are supposed to go. Um, and now we must enter the Prophet's cell. Awesome. Um, let's see, I don't think I can loot that guy, nor that guy. Oh, wait, can I? Nope. That is a spiky looking thing. Here's some urns though. Hmm, a 
recipe for some pie. Which is, for some reason, in an urn. Interesting. Uh, let's search all of these chests and urns. A trunk? Thin broth. An ingredient for making food? Alright. Uh, I won't step on that spike trap, ideally. Drippings, another food ingredient. Why? Why am I taking drippings from an urn? Why am I gonna eat that? That sounds disgusting. Um, that's empty. Empty. Alright. Where am I actually supposed to be going now? I should probably stay somewhat focused. Oh, there's a dude. done some sort of finishing move, but it didn't actually work right or something. I don't actually know. Um, it's an empty crate. We can jump over that spike thing before uh, we have to worry about that. Same with this one. We'll try and time it just right. There we go. Oh, there's another one right there. Mm -hmm. Kill that. something there. Oh, oh alright. I think I was swimming or something. I don't even know what's going on. Um, assuming we want to kill this dude. There we go. Um, where do we need to go from here? This way? Alright, there is place we need to be. Perfect. Ooh, and lots of chests, which first one is empty. Some natural water. We will take that. Sure. A trunk with some natural water. A trunk here with uh, adamant and adamantite. Adamantite is used for crafting, according to this. Some aged meat. Some natural water. Finding all of the random stuff, but let's let's get going now to the Prophet's cell. The Prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Oh, alright, so I probably shouldn't stop to take lock picks and whatnot. Is this the Prophet's cell? Alright. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. Um, where will you be going? I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Ah. All right, well, I mean... That's sad and all, that uh, you're going to be trapped in here forever, but I don't actually have any sort of emotional attachment to you. We, we've barely just met, so I'm not going to beg you uh, not to do that. I'm just going to tell you, go ahead, do what you got to do. We can't possibly understand it right now, but the Prophet chose you for a reason. You're important, and everyone and everything we've ever loved is in danger. Get the Prophet to safety. I'll find my own way back if I can. All right, I will. I there will are magical try locking devices safe. on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. All right, uh, I understand vaguely what you're saying. I have to open two things here. All right. So we disabled. The south one. Now we need to disable this one over here. I don't want to fall in there, I'm guessing, so we'll avoid doing that. And there we go. I give myself that the prophet might be free! Oh, 
stand back. I don't want to give myself. I'll let you get sucked up by the crazy beam of light. Oh, well, there we go. Prophet, you're here. So you're not a ghost dude. You're an actual dude. Alright. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Um, can we take a way to find her with us? Or can we find a way to take her with us? Dyslexia, I tell ya. Um, I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. Uh, Vestige? What is that, that is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. All right. Um, why does Lyris call that you? That is what prophet? I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchor? The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. All right. Oh yes, because he is blind. Um. All right. Stay close then. Let's go to the anchor. There we go. Should probably get my weapon ready. Should I be checking these urns? There's lockpicks, which I'm sure will be valuable at some point. And some recipes for food, which will also probably be useful. Are these things just... Alright, just big faces. Nothing else? Alright, here we are. Is this... Yep, here it is. The anchor mooring. Let's see where this goes. All right, got to get to the base of the. The mooring. insects fight bad. Uh -oh. How amusing, and yet so very sad. So that's Molag Ball. Um, can I run through his legs? Whoops! I pushed the wrong button. I'm just gonna run through his legs. Is that a thing? Oh, you're being attacked. Alright. I'm not actually super familiar with this combat yet, so I'm just spamming buttons and trying to dodge anything this anchor guardian throws at me. Appears as though the prophet is healing me nicely, so that's good. Always nice to have a little bit of backup. Uh, the anchor guardian doesn't seem to be doing too much. And there we go. Defeated the anchor guardian. Do I get any any sweet loot from that? No. Where's the prophet? There he is. Hello. The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. I like how you can just say goodbye all the time. Uh, but what's a, a Sky Shard? A shard of Ethereal Magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do it. Where is the sky shard? Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect okay. the sky shard. There it is. Aha, use the sky shard. And I can escape and get back to Tamriel. Sky shards are scattered across the lands of Tamriel. For every three sky shards you collect, your character will gain an extra 
extra skill point. All right. Good to know. It is time. If we are to return to our own realm, we must act quickly. All right. What First, do I have we must to... activate the anchor. I can sense a dark energy emanating from two devices on either side of me. Activate both devices. I will begin the ritual that will pry open the jaws of oblivion and allow us to escape. Uh, where will we arrive in Tamriel? There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same location. Fear not! I will find you again when the time is right. Now go! Activate the devices! Alright. Sounds good. I can do that. And here we go. We've activated them both. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time. Your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Come on, Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let's Let go, the way Akatosh. be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Haha, <laughs> let's get out of here, stupid Moloch Baal. You aren't going to keep us prisoner forever. Oh, as we get thrown back into Tamriel. And perfect, we are now actually hopefully going to be able to explore Tamriel, which is what I was most excited about. Awesome. Once everything loads in here, and we will get ready and start exploring. Alright, um, so we have spawned here at Eagle Strand. Where's the prophet? Um, There he is. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Awakened? The voids between worlds was both chaotic and violent. It deposited us in Tamriel, but some distance apart quite unceremoniously upon our heads. I lost consciousness myself for a time. Uh, what should I do now? For the time being, your journey must continue without me. Venture outside, explore this new place, and learn what you can. Expose the agents of Moloch Bar, wherever you are. For their means are convenient, and their scheming is ever present. Uh, when will I see you again? I cannot proceed. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. All right. Remember, the agents of Moloch Bar are everywhere. Uh, do you have any idea where I am? I must confess that this place is unknown to me. You appear to have arrived on a tropical island at the site of a shipwreck. All right. What should I do? Explore this place. Speak to the locals. I sense that the catmen of elsewhere are present. So you may be in their territory. When I have found the safe haven, I will contact you again. Until then, be safe. All right, very well. So that was escaping from prison in Cold Harbor. And now I'm guessing I'm basically at the Khajiit starting area. So we will uh, begin to explore Tamriel and talk to all of these locals and see what we can do in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you will join me next time.